it comes. <laughs> So yeah, go go ahead and uh, go ahead and. Uh, All right. Will the stream be able to see me too on the webcam? Uh, they'll see you. Yeah, they're gonna see your cam, but I'm gonna make it so they can't really see your name. So that way, you don't get it. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. That is fun. Let me hook this up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out first. Yeah, let me turn my lights on. Sure. Ugh. Yeah, dude, I was just streaming and all of a sudden. Okay, I see you. Awesome. So okay. I I was just streaming and right. basically let me add you really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, man, <laughs> I apologize, dude. I, when I saw the relentless assault of just my dick in the chat, I was like, holy shit. No, yeah, I, I, I had I had no idea what was happening. All right, it's not, it's not, everyone can see you now. So everyone, right. everyone's pretty hyped. You can see the chat right, right now. Yo. Everyone, so you can see the chat. Um, You can type it in. So, uh, dude, tell me what you think about the uh, Xenoblade Nintendo Direct. What was up with that? Hmm. Well, the shit was less than 10 minutes, dog. It was less than 10 I minutes. I didn't see it. I was streaming, so you got to tell me about it. Yeah, man. All right. So, I mean, I, I'm sure you heard about it in the chat. Like, 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 did you get, like, an impression of what people thought in the chat before I explained my stance? I just or? got a brigade of my dicks in the chat. So, like, yeah. there was, like, 3,000 my dicks. Let me put on this headband really quick. But, yeah, um, apparently it was pretty hype. And, you know, Xenoblade, it's always been a good series. It's always been, like, one of those quality series where the games are usually consistently good. Because you played that, the last ones and all? You played you played a lot of the last ones? Oh uh, no, not very much at all. Um, actually, I only play Smash Bros. almost exclusively. But because of that, like, I haven't actually seen um as much of other Nintendo games as I should have. But I, that's why I always ask other friends, and I see my friends playing the footage. So, what would you what do you think about it? Yo, man, like, well, I never played a Xenoblade game in my life before. But I mean, you know, a lot of people were hyped because, like, if you saw some of the direct um some of the footage from before, it's like a huge open world. The monsters were crazy as hell. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, that, that just that alone, you know, it's a real beautiful aspect. I, I don't know about you, but like when I'm when I'm in like a game that's like has an open world and whatnot, you know, I I lose myself in that. Oh no, so. of course, like it's just you you can immerse yourself, and depending on how realistic they make it, yeah, for sure, I, I would, <laughs> I would, I would definitely agree with you, man. But um, more importantly, let's get mm. on the real topic here. Um, mm. Mewtwo and Smash Four. What do you Yo. what do you think about them so far? You Yo. can fi you can finally play them. He's there. What do you think? Doug. Uh, all right. Well, here's the thing, right? I represent a very casual side of Smash, so I mean, I didn't. I, oh, whoops. Oh, um, I, I haven't really, no, I, I haven't really gotten even a freaking chance to play with YouTube yet because I I've just been so busy with managing the YouTube channel and whatnot. Yeah. But I, I've watched a ton of footage though, you know. So I mean, I've seen like apparently he's like the second lightest character in the game. Yeah, he's got some weird perks to him as well, and people are sort of like that. They were complaining actually that um his I think his jab sorry, was a little too slow and things like that, but um. What's crazy is that along with adding Mewtwo, Nintendo actually fixed a lot of the game as well. So, like, uh, there was a bunch of nerfed Diddy Kong, there was a bunch of buffs right. to other characters as well. And that's why I'm getting back into it. Um, and Mewtwo okay. seems like, he seems okay, but, like, in the new metagame, there's, like I said, there's a bunch of fixes here and there. So, I have no idea. Maybe there's going to be, maybe you can pick up Mewtwo and be one of the nasty competitive players, dude. Dude, hey, dude, that's the plan, man. I mean, <laughs> on top of everything else, you know, the fact that the hoo ha is now put down. Yes. So we're not, well, you know, then again, it's not even like all that bad because, you know, people like Zero can still utilize Diddy really damn well. And when he pulled off the victory at, um, at, uh, sorry, the name doesn't come to mind. But yeah, you know, I mean, people can still make the characters work, I suppose. But yeah, the, the game really balanced out a lot. You know, Sonic's throws being nerfed too. I mean, oh, yeah. Like, all around. You know, so, and so I don't know. Did they really like do any big extensive buffs with the latest patch? Um, I think they they buffed some of the worst things. I know, like I played Jigglypuff, for instance, and there was very slight buffs. For instance, they made Jigglypuff's back here a little quicker and her rest a little bit stronger. Um, so any buffs there were, there wasn't any like significant buffs, but it was more about the nerfs. I think Nintendo thought to make. Because if you're balancing a game, you can either nerf everyone or buff everyone. And I think um, realistically, it's easier to nerf everything that's clearly broken rather than buff all the millions of things could be better. So uh, it was a, it was a good call by Nintendo to do that at the same time. But um, yeah, do you do you play Smash competitively at all? I I'm trying to get competitive right now. Like like I said, I'm a real casual kind of player. Like you know, right? Like we like I am in a total 
different universe plane of existence than you are. I'm surprised though. So, because I, I know you play Smash Four a lot yourself too. How does it feel transitioning from Melee to Smash Four, and the the, the difference is so major? Like, I mean, it's gotta feel wild for you, man. Yeah. So I'm one of the few like specialists of characters. I I played Dewey Puff in every Smash game that I've played. You know, mm-hmm. Melee and then Brawl along with the other day, and then Smash Four. I made Dewey Puff, and like. The question is, like, how well can I incorporate the, the spacing I've learned in Melee into Smash 4? And with Dillypuff, I realized that the rest hitbox is actually a lot bigger in Smash 4. Rest being, of course, the move where you can, you know, go to sleep and kill someone in one shot. Mm. And uh, from that, I the spacing and the thinking, like, he's going to roll into me right now because that's what he's, he's going to move there. It's actually the same. The setups oh, don't okay. exist in Smash 4 anymore. You can't do, like, up tilt rest, or you can't do, like, yeah. up the rest because of the, the physics of the game. But the actual spacing and the mind games of the rest are almost identical, strangely enough. Holy crap. Yeah, um, the only thing is the game's a lot slower in terms of Jig's movement, but if you want to think about adapting to a player and seeing their movement patterns, if you get that melee, you can easily apply that to yeah. Smash 4. It's really cool. Is that why Zero's still so damn sick, man? Because, I mean, that's Dude. what it seems like the game's about. Like, hard reads, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's the neutral. If, hey. if your neutral game is really good, you're fine. Oh. And Zero and Brawl was a, was a king of neutral games, so I'm mm. not surprised at all that you know he's, he's in there. So yeah. Uh, before I know I have to leave pretty soon, but a couple more questions I have for you, and it's so funny they're here. By the way, thank you for for, for that earlier raid. By the way, I got like 600 viewers, and it was really dude, really cool. It was my fucking pleasure, dude. Like I felt so bad because I I didn't realize they would bomb the chat the way they. <laughs> yeah, it was ridiculous. I was like, I, yeah, Damn. I think I, I lost like five subs, but I gained like six or seven more. So it was pretty. It worked out in the end. It was like <laughs> it, it all it all came full circle. Um, who's the next character you want to see in Smash Four, dude? Oh, Smash Four. Uh, to be honest, man. I mean, the Rayman hype train hit me like a goddamn truck. Dude. I was so hyped. I was hyped for Rayman, dude, because yeah. you can imagine like his arms flying around everywhere. It's everything. Like it makes so much sense. It's so perfect. It would. Have... It would have been absolutely crazy. But I want to see like King K. Rule. I'm a I'm a King K. Rule kind of guy. I think yeah. we need we need another heavyweight, and I yeah. think that'd be funny. Yeah. I'm hoping, like, I mean, if it, if it's anybody else than Rayman, then definitely King K. Rule. Um, a lot of people were saying I won't really be in the game, and I mean, well, we we pretty much already know Ridley's not going to be in the game. But you were right about the heavyweight thing. We need, we need especially after Mewtwo. You know, Mewtwo in Smash Four, he definitely looked like he gained some weight in comparison to Melee. So I thought, yeah, dude, he, he ate some, he, he ate some Odies, man. I'm telling you, that, <laughs> Mew, Mewtwo got kind of chubby, dude. Yeah, he got swole, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, maybe that's why it moves slower, but you got to think about it. In the past history of Smash games, the heavyweights have never been that great. I'm trying to think of who who's the best uh, the best heavyweight character in Smash 4 currently is what, maybe... Diddy? I don't know. I don't, I don't, th- he was good in Brawl for a bit. I know Diddy was actually considered high tier in Brawl for a while. But in, in Smash 4, um, maybe Bowser? I'm not even too sure if it's Bowser or... Or Char no Charles ter- oh no Charles really bad yeah, Charles, yeah. but there's no, very, uh, the fact that I can't even name any shows how f- you know few heavyweights there are no they they had to give us some um they, I think they gave Bowser a pretty nice speed buff too his running speed is really good now yes so. yes and it's it's funny because in in melee Bowser would run with like those little like roller blades on the ground but now he can actually like yeah. run like an actual human being and it's really neat it's badass it is really cool so dude uh, you, so you have a good you have a really funny YouTube channel um what, what's your plans for the future man what are you gonna do with your newfound Mewtwo fame Oh man, it's 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 all about staying relevant for me at this point, you know. Like, I mean, you know, Smash Brothers, that's my passion, man. You know, I mean, my cousin, he used to beat the shit out of me in Melee back in the day, and it's that that kind of got me really passionate about it. But you know, I'm just trying to expand the hype for other things, because you know, there's there's other games like, in, as shocking as some people may find it, you know, Hungry Box and I, we both have other things that we're into as well besides Smash. So you know, I'm trying to. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, you're pretty damn, <laughs> you're pretty damn constant in Melee, but I mean, still. You know, I'm trying to expand the hype into other areas as well, too, kind of to, you know, see how well I do. But the, the main priority right now is to smash. I'm trying to get competitive, man. I'm really trying to, you know, learn how to read and, you know, yeah. just do all that stuff you guys have been doing for years now, you know? I mean, yeah, the best way to get competitive in Melee is to just look at your local scene and attend tournaments. And, you know, you being as well known as you are, it'll be really easy. For, where do you live right now? What city are you from? Oh, uh, Brooklyn. 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 It, there's, there's definitely scenes there for Smash 4 especially, and you can find a lot of players in there. But, um... What's funny is for Melee and Smash 4 right now, I'm in Gainesville right now. In Gainesville, we have a Smash scene, but the stream I've been playing online Melee and online PM, actually, using this thing called Dolphin. It's an emulator. There's a whole scene for it. And um, basically, if you ever wanted to get good at Smash 4 or Melee, because Smash 4 is already online, but if you ever wanted to like, get more into your PM or Melee roots, go on Netplay and basically sign up there, and it's super easy. If you have a good computer, you can just play online Smash Bros. 
you can use the right here the Wii U adapter. You can use this, oh, and it's you're good to go. That's what's really funny about it. Damn, dude. So that's what you were doing, because I was wondering. You know, I mean, I'm since I, I since I balance so many things, it's hard for me to keep up with stuff a lot of times. I was like, holy shit, this dude playing melee online? Like, it, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, then I, I at first I was like, how is it work? Must be terrible. But I got a computer, I got an Alienware from Team Liquid finally, and I was playing it, and I was like, good to go. And it was like with the Wii U adapter and the newest version of Dolphin, zero input lag on the PC. It's like playing, what? It's like playing on a CRT. It's fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I've been definitely taking advantage of it the whole time. Um, and it's great. By the way, uh, my the chat keeps blowing up with this uh, this tweet from, I think, Nintendo. Apparently Sakurai is attending a Fire Emblem concert, and he's making an announcement there. Do you think, mm. Roy, you think it's Roy? What do you think? Oh, man. You know, it ties in so well. I, I thought it ties in really well. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if Roy made a return, but then think about it. You know, we have basically three Mars in the game with, you know, with subtle differences between them. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, because now it's like three as the same character almost. Would, do you think that would be... Yeah. I, I was thinking like enough anime characters, you feel me? Like I was thinking like we already got, we got Marth, we got Lucina, we got Robin, we got Ike, and you know, anything else would be kind of like the same thing as well. That's the only thing about Roy I wouldn't want. But I would want like something crazy, like that's why I want like something K rule, like something wild. But yeah. I feel like I feel like like uh, you know Lucina and Robin and all of them, like they they've kind of been and Shulk also is in that same anime realm Palutena. of character. Palutena, of course, yeah. you know it's kind of getting played out. But the thing with Roy is that he's definitely he's the boy. You know, Roy's our boy. He's got yeah, he's, boy. he's got like the most fame of any you know infamous melee character, and mm -hmm. be really sick. But honestly, if Nintendo wanted to make more money, they can. And, do anything with new patch, new uh, DLC, Goku and Vegeta. It will be over. Oh god! No, it, oh god! It would... <laughs> I'm assuming you watch Dragon Ball Z. Oh, who hasn't? Man? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be insane, dude. I mean, hey, like to be honest, man. I mean, a lot of people act like that's impossible and it wouldn't be practical for Nintendo to do so. But I say, if they manage to pull that off somehow or some way, I think you can agree with me in saying that would be one of the most monumental things to be done in the Smash scene ever. In a video game ever, I would say, actually, Good. considering yeah. legacy, yeah, sure. considering legacy of Smash, uh, have Goku and have Ryu and Vegeta and Ken. Like it would be, oh. shit would go, you know, it, it it would go bonkers. No one would even know what to do. It would reach a new level at that point, you know. I mean, especially now that Smash is growing, you know, like the competitive scene is getting so much steam at this point. And, you know, at one point we both know Smash kind of wasn't really taken in the same competitive light as like um, Street Fighter was right. for quite a while, you know. And it's just great to see that in these recent years it's starting to get its numbers up really well. You know, venues are getting booked up and all this stuff. So it's good to see that. But throwing characters specifically from those scenes into Smash Brothers, dude. Like, what kind of freaking perspective will that be, you know? Like, that'll be so much of a game changer. In it, it, it'll be groundbreaking. In my eyes, if you have a game with Pac-Man, you can have anyone in that game. And You ever think about how silly it is? We have fucking Pac-Man and Smash Bros. It's just really funny to think about. Who who, who did you vote for in the actual, uh, in the poll thing? Well, well, here's the thing. The polls end in October, so I was like, hey, man, you know, I'm not rushing to vote for anybody. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to weigh my options, man. Like, you know, October, that's a lot of time, you know? A lot of stuff can happen before then, baby. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to chill for now, and I'll throw in my vote last minute. <laughs> no, I'll wait. I'm going to I'm gonna relax. Hey, that, that's a good strategy, dude. But, yeah. Hey, um, so to everyone in the chat, I do have uh, Etika here. If you, uh, It is Etika, right? Yep. yep Etika. Uh, I have Etika here. Um, If you have any questions for Etika, I think Etika is reading the chat right now. Etika, mm -hmm. please feel free to avoid any spammy questions, but if there's any legitimate questions right now is your chance, if it's cool with you to answer some questions in the chat, see if they want to get them answered. Um, yeah, no problem at all, man. Um, once once again, Hungry Boss, thank you for having me, dude. I really do appreciate it. You know? I followed you for a while now. I knew you were a cool dude, so it's like, you know, interacting with you and whatnot. Yeah, like, hey, man. Real chill as fuck. Oh, thanks, dude. Uh, so yeah, we're oh. gonna we're gonna see if I can if I can pick out any certain questions. I'm sure they're gonna be here coming soon as well. But um, the whole time that you were, some guys like you're taking so long to get food. They were like thinking like you're gonna eat a country or something like that. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. No, I I was going to eat earlier, but I I said fuck it. The direct is happening. Like I have to. <laughs> <laughs> the direct, fuck this. Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck food, dude. Yeah, direct, dude. Yeah. Isabel, All sausage, right. man. Etika, okay. could could you see yourself being a Smash commentator? If I get my knowledge up, I have to learn more about the scene. Okay, I see. Um, Etika, who do you main in Smash? Red Robin. Red Robin. Uh, yeah. Etika, do you go to tournaments? Uh, yeah, there's a tournament in Brooklyn, well, in New York City called Nebulous, and I was going there for a while. I stopped because I moved, thanks to my YouTube channel, I'm trying to get things back on track with that now. Right. Um, who do you think is the most OP character in Smash? 
right now, right now, well, of course, post patch Diddy, but I mean, right now, I think Sheik is pretty damn OP still. Okay. Um, Puppy Love says, according to the Order Victory theme, flies Ryu and Roy come before Lucas. Do you think there could be a chance they're incoming before even Lucas is released? Oh gosh, that's a. I don't know, man. That would be a high baller move right there, but no, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, that's true. Um, do you think Ridley is coming? Um, Sakurai already killed Ridley and put it the final nail in this coffin. Most likely not, but you know we all know not to trust Sakurai if he says something's not happening at this point. Okay, I see. Uh, would you ever consider playing melee competitively? Ah uh, man, I I would need years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh man, hungry boys! I saw what you did to them boys, man. Uh, <laughs> I saw what you did to that boy. <laughs> uh, almost, that's like eight and a half years of experience, maybe more right now. Uh, Jesus. Uh, who is your favorite melee player? Um, favorite melee player. Um, to be honest, man, not even not even BSing. Like I I like Leffen just because he's such a freaking he's so arrogant. I can <laughs> feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. He's good for the scene for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like good. Yeah. What announcements do you want to see at E3 this year? E3, big announcements. I want to see a new Pokemon game. I also want to see more characters announced for Smash because there's nothing bad about more characters being in the game. And um, I also will hope, if we don't have a release date for Xenoblade beforehand, I want to see a release date for that. And also, I don't know, more Amiibo. More Amiibo as well, too. That would be cool. Okay. But do you think realistically at E3 they're going to announce more characters or E3 is going to be not focused on that at all? Uh, E3 is a big ass event, man. Like, I mean, they found those files of Street Fighter in the game. If there's any event to release that stuff at, where else but E3, you know? Yeah, I feel you. Um, Sakurai wants to make as much DLC from SSB as possible. Do you think the DLC will continue for the next couple of years? Definitely. They have, that's the plan. I think that's the plan to keep the lifeblood of Smash 4 going, you know? Yeah, I feel you. All right, and then I'll do one more. Let's see. <laughs> do you think Sora from Kingdom Hearts has a chance of being in Smash 4? Very high chance, man. There's a lot of people pushing for him. You know, I, I can see it happening. It seems practical in my opinion. He fits. All He's right. not as animu as like all the other anime characters. Yeah, but so, but so at the same time, Sora did. Um, he is part of uh, PlayStation, right? He's Sony, isn't he? Yeah, so he is. He, yeah, so I'm not yeah. sure. He's he's anime as fuck, but yeah, that'd be kind of yeah. funny. True that. Yeah. All right, man. But hey, uh, that's some questions for you today. And um, listen, I wanted to thank you for coming out to the stream, talking for a bit. A little quick thing. People were waiting for it, so I'm really glad I had the time to come on here and. Ask some questions. No, no problem, man. I wish I had more time to, to chill. I, I Right now, actually, I'm meeting up with one of my cousins who's taking me to a college Smash Brothers tournament as well, too. And, you know, I'm tired of getting my ass handed to me in so many situations by people who know how to read. And, you know, whenever I played, like, Zero or Nairo or whatnot, they always tell me, you know, it's more about, you know, mix-ups and whatnot. And I, I need to really learn that myself, you know, so... Hey, man, I'll, I'll take your advice. I'll just go to tournaments and whatnot. Yeah, but my opinion, right now is the best time ever for a player to start from scratch because you have so many resources, anything from YouTube to streams. You can watch everything, and it's a great time to start. So get into it, play competitive, and do what you can, I guess. Yeah, man, this is the era of the death of hoo-ha. You know, this is the time, man. Fuck the hoo-ha. <laughs> Fuck the hoo-ha. Hashtag Fuck the hoo-ha. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck the Xbox hoo-ha. I mean, there we go. <laughs> Fuck the hoo-ha. Oh, yeah, but yeah. All right, man. Well, if there's anything else you want to say to, the, to your fans or viewers watching here, now's your chance, dude. All right. Well, guys, I'm, I'm signing off. Once again, Hungry Bats, thank you for having me, man. Yep. Definitely hoping in the future we can do some stuff as well, too. I'm going to be trying to fly out to tournaments and stuff myself. I was going to be at Apex, but, you know, money problems. But money shouldn't be an issue after a certain point this year, so... Hopefully I see you. And it, to people in the chat, um, yo, dudes, thank you so much for making Hungry Box's day, making my day as well, too. It was entertaining seeing you dudes go buck wild. And um, thank you for all the people that are following as well, too. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not your dictator or whatever, but, you know, Hungry Box is one of the coolest <laughs> Melee players I've ever met. And I feel like he deserves a follow. Definitely give a follow, give a sub if you have it. Um, thank you guys once again. Um, my <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, dude. But, hey, I guess you could say you are the... Dictator, if you know what I mean, dude. Ah, ah, get the hell out of here, man. I mean, you have to go with that fucking title. But yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, dude. Hey, thanks for everything, man. I appreciate it. I'll see you around, dude. Oh, dude, it was cool, man. Thanks for having me. Peace, no guys. problem. Later. Later. And there you go, guys. Oof. Oh, man. I am so tired. Oh, all right, y'all. Um... What else is left? What else is there to do? Uh, I've been streaming for about five hours now, so um, I hope you have all been enjoying the entire, um, just enjoying the whole stream. Hope you've been, you know, 